So my favourite theme park at the moment, sitting in my number one spot today is... So hey guys and welcome to the video. Today I'm going to be counting down my top five favourite theme parks here in the UK. So if you go on to like this video, please smack that like button, hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you don't miss a single video. Right, without further ado, let's get straight on into it. So like my top coasters video, I'm hoping to get one of these out every year to update you guys on what are my favourite parks and where I'd recommend going. Um, so without further ado, Further ado, let's get straight in with number five. At my number five spot, I have Chesington World of Adventures in Chertsey. So I feel like Chesington World of Adventures is one of those parks that's got its own little charm. It's also got a handful of fantastic different roller coasters. You've got Dragon's Fury, which is a Mara spinning coaster. Um, you've got Vampire, which is a fantastic classic suspended um, arrow coaster. Um, and you've got the um, Scorpion Express which is a fantastic powered map coaster. There's something here for everybody. And with Chesington World of Adventures, it's not all about the rides. You've got a fantastic zoo section as well. Um, this um, carries on to the attractions. Um, you've got the Zoofari ride, which actually goes through some of the animal enclosures. Um, so it goes through the giraffe, um, enclosure, it goes through the rhino um, enclosure um, and at certain times of the year they've got some other animals in there as well which is really really good. Um, on top of that um, you've got a fantastic hotel which you can stay in um, at this park as well. Um, this park looks onto um, one of the animal enclosures so in the morning you've got a fantastic view available to you even if you don't stay in a, um, a room looking um, to that side of of the hotel um, you've still got the ability to come out in the morning and look out across that animal enclosure at the back of the hotel it's absolutely fantastic you've also got some dark rides at Chessington World of Adventures um, you've got the Gruffalo um, boat ride um, you've got the walkthrough attraction room on the broom and you've also got a sea life center there as well so there really is something for everybody at Chessington World of Adventures um, I just don't feel like it compares to some of the parks um, on this list. Um, so that's why it sits at my number five spot here today. So at number four on my list then, we have Poulton's Park in Southampton. This is a great little family park that really blew me away when I went for the first time this year. So Poulton's Park, by definition, is a family park, but some of the attractions there are surprisingly big for the um, audience that it's going for. You've got things like Cyclonator and Storm Chaser, which are brand and new for this year and you've also got the flight of the pterosaur roller coaster which is surprisingly intense on the front so as well as that you've got cobra which is a gershauer bobsled coaster you've got velociraptor which is a vacoma um, boomerang coaster and you've also got a few little Sierra tivoli um, roller coasters um, that are great for kids and that young family audience which polton's tries to go for also this park is finished off so nicely and what i'm mean by that is the landscaping in this park is incredible. Poulton's Park has a fantastic set of gardeners um, which constantly make sure the grass is at the right level, um, the bushes are trimmed so there's no branches sticking out, it's all it's all very flat. In fact when me and Joe went to Poulton's Park um, earlier this year we actually said they looked like um, Planet Coaster um, hedges because they were so straight and pruned. Um, it really is is a great well-kept park. Also at this park as well you've got the incredible Peppa Pig world which is fantastic for that smaller audience. Um, there are some fantastic little rides in there for the younger um, thrill seekers among us um, and it really is a great um, area of the park for them. So maybe Poulton's Park will go up in my list if I do this video in the future but for now it sits at my number four spot on my list today. So next on my list then at number three, we have Thorpe Park. Thorpe Park is owned by Merlin and has some of my favourite roller coasters in the country. This is a thrill park through and through. Um, you have things 
inside the Swarm, which is a B&M wing coaster. You have Stealth, which is a intermittent accelerator coaster. And you also have Nemesis Inferno, which is a B&M invert. So also what I like about Thorpe Park is they put on events. At the moment, their Park Life event is currently taking place, um, where you've got some live music, you've got some street choreography, um, and you've also got some changed audio um, and signage around the park um, to fit the um, park life theme. Also, they run their Fright Nights event at Halloween, which is absolutely fantastic. I've not had a chance to go myself, uh, but, but from other videos on YouTube that I've seen, um, it looks great and I can't wait to get out to it this year. So in my opinion, Thought Park has gone through a bit of an identity crisis through the years. Um, very recently, and I don't think it knows whether it wants to be a family thrill park or a thrill park. Um, very recently though, with things like Black Mirror, it sort of entrenched itself as a little bit of a thrill park, um, but that's still yet to be seen. Also, Thought Park hasn't had a new roller coaster for 10 years um, as, re as of recording this video. So hopefully they'll be getting a brand new roller coaster soon. I'll be posting updates on iCoaster um, if we do hear anything. Um, so that's why it doesn't rank higher on my list today. But nonetheless, Thought Park sits at my number three spot for my top UK theme parks. So at number two then on my list, we have Blackpool Pleasure Beach in Blackpool. In my opinion, this park is a bit of a walk through history. You've got the um, UK's second oldest roller coaster, the Big Dipper. You've got things like the Grand National. Then you've got roller coasters from the 70s, um, like the Revolution um, and um, Steeplechase. You've also got things like the Big One from the 90s. Um, and the very recent um, roller coaster they added was Icon. Um, that's sort of a representation of modern uh, roller coasters because of them, them LSM launchers. Um, it really is a great park with something for everyone. Um, you've also got a mix of family and thrill. Um, obviously, you've got things like Icon, the big one, Infusion, um, for the thrill seekers among you. You've also got things like Nickelodeon Land for the little thrill seekers. Um, the family rides are in um, Nickelodeon Land as well. So it really is a well-rounded park with some fantastic attractions. Also, what makes me put this um, second on my list as well is the um direction the park's been heading in the last few years is absolutely fantastic. This park really does have their head screwed on straight um, and they really have entrenched themselves as one of the best parks in the UK. So on one of my recent visits to Blackpool Pleasure Beach, I got to meet Amanda Thompson who actually owns Blackpool Pleasure Beach and I can safely say that the park is in great hands. Um, this park is in for some great um, things for the future so this is definitely one to watch and it sits at number two on my list today. So my favourite theme park at the moment sitting in my number one spot today is Alton Towers in Staffordshire. This has got my favourite roller coaster in the UK at the moment, Nemesis. Um, you've also got some um, fantastic thrill rides um, like uh, Wicker Man, The Smiler, 13, Air or Galactica if you want to call it that. Um, there really is something here for everyone. Also, the theming at this park is incredible. It really is. Um, the roller coasters are themed really, really well. So this park is maintained really well as well. You have those historical gardens, which they've started opening up during the closed season um, to go walk around. You can also walk around those at a uh, normal uh, theme park day. Um, they have a fantastic gardening team, which um, takes care of those. They also have the fantastic um, towers, ruins um, that you can see as you walk in the park. Um, those are currently um, having new windows installed. Um, you've got um, things also like the uh, Gangster Granny attraction, which was installed this year in the world of David Walliams. You've got to see Beebe's Land um, and all of the roller coasters are in their respective themed areas. Again, this park really does have something for everybody. Um, and I guarantee that if you go, you will have a fantastic day out. Even on a busy day, I've always found some way to enjoy myself at Alton Towers and that's why it sits at number one on my list. So guys, that has been my top 
five roller coasters here in the UK. If you have liked this video, please smack that like button, hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you don't miss a single video. Also guys, I have been posting more and more on my Instagram and TikTok. Um, so if you want to go follow me on my social media platforms, please find the links down in the description. Go follow me so you can get even more iCoaster content. So guys, I've been Ryan from iCoaster and I shall see you in the next video. Goodbye.